Hello, welcome to this session of Hardware Interface to Microcontrollers. Today we shall see how a relay, that is electromagnetic relay or a number of relays can be interfaced to a microcontroller. Microcontroller as we know gives in its output a particular fixed voltage, a logic voltage, usually about 5 volts. It's not practicable for using a relay directly from the microcontroller. So the interface that we use is called a relay driver IC. And this relay driver IC is called ULN2003. There are other relay drivers also in different names. We will discuss today about ULN 2003. This ULN 2003 is nothing but a set of inverters which is there inside this IC. For example, if we look at the pin number 1, the inverter input and pin number 16 is the inverter output. Pin number 2 is the inverter input. Pin number 15 is the inverter output. Pin number 3 is the inverter input. Pin number 14 is the inverter output. What does an inverter mean? An inverter as we know, if I give 0 here, I will get 1 here. If I give 1 here, I will get 0 here. That is the purpose of inverter. Or that is the function of inverter. A relay, this is a relay. A relay is somewhat similar to a switch. Many students in engineering, in particular electrical, have a wrong notion that relay means protection relay. This is actually called electromagnetic relay, but in short, we call it a relay. You, uh, you see, this is written here 12 volts. This 12 volt means that the coil, there is a coil over an iron piece which is wound. And so what happens when the current flows in this coil, this switch, this is just a switch, this switch gets activated. We will see while we do the simulation. When this switch gets activated, an external circuit, like for example, we have a alternator here. We have a switch here and then once we close this switch, the power is reaching here and only thing this switch when it is activated, the lamp will glow. Or in a situation like this where a switch is connected in a different fashion, particularly these switches of this nature, this is called a common point, this is called a normally open point and this, sorry, normally closed point and this is called normally open point. Similarly, here, you see this is the common point, and this is the normally closed point, and this is the normally open point. Normally open means, when there is no power given, this is the situation. So in these two circuits, what we have done, in these two, for these two relays, what we have done, we have taken one lamp in series with its NO connection. This is NO connection and the other lamp in series with a NC connection. To avoid confusion, let us see only first for the first relay and see how it operates. So now we will go to simulation. Prior to simulation, let us see how the power supply is fed to this IC. Usually, since this is a simulation uh, software, the ground is already given. Ground means the negative terminal. Negative terminal is already given to the IC here. The positive terminal, that is the relay will operate at 12 volt. So this 12 volt is given to pin number 9. And this 12 volt is also given to the coil. So what happens? So this is high because this is 12 volt. This is high. And if this point goes low, the current starts flowing and the relay will be activated. When will this go low? This will go low when this becomes high. 
Similarly, when this becomes high, this will go low. Well, let us first see about the first relay. And let us now try to simulate. And during the course, we will also discuss about this relay. And we will see what is the difference between this type of connection and this type of connection. Now we simulate this. Okay. Now we see there is a alternator here. There is a switch here. The moment I switch on the power from the alternator, let us see how the circuit is complete. Now first of all, the power will flow this way, this way, this way, pass through the lamp and stop here because this is open. But in this situation, for this lamp, let us see what is happening. The power will come this way, this way, this way, pass through this way, this way. The switch is closed. It reaches this way. The power has to start from this point and end at this point. Then the circuit is called circuit complete. This lamp to glow, that means the power should flow this way, 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 and reach here. Unless it starts from here and reaches here, this circuit is not complete. Okay? Now let us see. Which lamp is glowing when I start simulation? I switch on this. You see, this lamp is started glowing. Why? Because this path is complete. Mind it, we are still not activated any of the relay. Because there is no current flowing in this relay. Because this is 0, this is 0, so this is 1, this is also 1. This is 1 and this also is 1 because I have connected this is also to 12 volt. Connecting a coil this side 12 volt or this side 12 volt doesn't make a difference. Okay. Now, once we operate this relay, uh, once we make this logic from 0 to 1, you see what happens. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now what happens? Now this switch which was normally in this place has now switched over to this place. So the path is complete now for this lamp also. This is how the path is complete. So this lamp is glowing. But if I make this high, what happens? Similarly, this will also go to this side. Once this goes to this side, what will happen? The circuit will open and this lamp will stop. Let's see. Okay. The lamp is stopped. Is because when this is high, this is l high. Sorry, when this is high, this is low. Yes. And the power flows this way. Once the power flows this way, this relay is activated. Once this relay is activated, this is, this comes to this position, like this. This has come to this position, this has come to this position. Let us see it frequently operating so that you can get an idea. You see this? See this? See? See? I make it 1, 0. 1, 0. 1, 0. Okay? Now stop it. Now let us make this. 0, you see this, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So like that, this particular IC, ULN 2003, has got 7 such inputs. At, that means, I can use 7 relays in any combination at its output. You see, this output is a switch. Output means it's not exactly output, it is a switch. And you can connect any external circuit, any external circuit, any voltage, particularly as per the rating of this switch. If the switch rating is usually the switch rating that you will be used in your project is about 4 amperes. So you can put any load. If this is a load, you can put any load of 4 amperes. It could be a motor, it could be a lamp, it could be anything. 